What's up everyone, Jason, back here with another diecast review tonight. I'll be reviewing the 2017 William Byron Liberty University Xfinity Homestead Race version, of course, in 164 scale. Before I get to the diecast itself, let's take a look at the packaging. It is your traditional 2017 and current 164 scale window box. It has William Byron and Junior Moore Sports on the side there. We do have the 25th anniversary of Action logo up there, the hologram of NASCAR, and choking hazard warning. The end of the box here features the uh, barcode and NASCAR logo. This side here features Ages Formed Up, got the Gold Series logo, and Action Racing Collectible, still the choice of champions. And this end of the box features the production sticker. As you can see, it says William Byron, number 9, Liberty University Homestead Race Version 2017 Camaro Limited Edition. And then below that, we have 164 scale stock car limited edition collectible. So that is the box. Let's go ahead and take a look at the die cast itself because it is a sharp looking die cast. By far one of the best looking 164 scale race versions I've seen in some time by Lionel. So let's start off down here on the front of the uh, car. On the front bumper, we have Camaro, the number nine, and Junior Moore Sports. Of course, you can see we do have the red uh, Xfinity banner up here on the windshield and on the rear spoiler and on the splitter. Of course, we do have some grill tape down there on the bottom. Chevy bow tie in the uh, upper above Camaro where the headlights are. Up on the hood, we have Liberty University and a lot of tire rubber, as you can see. Of course, those two things on either side of the LU is the uh, plates or mounting points for the tethers on the inside of the car. Up on the windshield, as I mentioned, we have Xfinity in red, got some tear-off pull tabs, and the uh, duct tape sun visor that they put on the car during a pit stop. Go ahead and look at the uh, contingencies on the front here. We have Moog, Molly, CompCam, Edelbrock, and Sunoco. Of course, on the side here, we do have Goodyear. And we got some tire rubber uh, scrape and donuts around the uh, front wheel there. This, of course, is on the L mold. You can sell, you can tell that by the uh, wheels. Of course, uh, we have the uh, Xfinity Series logo. 21 means 21. Holly MSD, Durlast, ARP Mechanic Wear, Simpson Canon, and the Sunoco Rookie of the Year Contender logo. And, of course, up on the A-post there, we do have the round of four or championship for uh, logo. Of course down here we have some uh, tire rubber again. Zoom, try to zoom in there. Of course the number nine some tire rubber. Of course you can see little like replicated uh, screws and stuff holding on the rocker panel and side skirt down there. More tire rubber on the nine. We have the Junior Appreciation 88 Tour logo and Brandt. Of course, we have Safety Clean, Miller Welders, and SEM up there on the B post, William Byron, and five race wind stickers. Moving along down the side here, we have Liberty University and Exalta with American Ethanol Fuel Inlet. Got some more tire rubber and donuts behind the rear wheel well there. Exalta looks pretty good. Got some markings and tire rubber behind it. Of course, up here on the B po or C post, excuse me, we have Cessna and Valvoline. Up on the uh, roof, we have Liberty University as your roof sponsor, the number nine. And if there was a roof cam, they have the sponsors that say Liberty University and all that such right there. Back here on the rear window, we have Byron and, of course, Armor 150 for their anniversary, 150 year anniversary there. Back here on the rear spoiler, we have the black mounting hardware for the spoiler. Of course, we have... Mac Tools, Bosch, and Racing Electronics behind or next to Liberty University and below the tail light there. Chevrolet Bowtie, Liberty University, and in between Liberty and University, you can see a TV camera. We have the number nine below the uh, right tail light, rookie stripes, Camaro, and simulated exhaust. And there is, of course, tire rubber. Go ahead and move to the uh, right side of the car. That's where all the action is. You can see where he got into the wall. It is scraped up right across Liberty University there. Exalta looks a little scraped up, and it's scraped up on both sides of Exalta. Got some burn marks down there by the exhaust where the headers and exhaust pipes stick out. More tie rubber going down this side. Got some more scrapes there above Goodyear and along the contingency panel. 
So that's really cool. Like I said, Lionel Racing outdid themselves on this particular car. So yeah, that would be my review of the William Byron 2017 Liberty University Xfinity Homestead Race Version in 164 scale, as I mentioned, by Lionel Racing. Be sure to pick this car up at your local dealer or online at lionelracing.com. If you enjoyed this review, give it a thumbs up. I would appreciate that highly. S subscribe if you haven't already subscribed. Thank you if you are a regular viewer and subscriber of my channel. If you're not, click the bell for notifications so you'll never miss out on another diecast review. I post them every Monday or Tuesday and sometimes randomly throughout the week. So you'll have to be sure to follow me on social media, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook at Jason A. Strain 69 so you never miss out on a future diecast review. Thanks for watching. See you next week for an all-new diecast review. Bye.